Welcome back to Biafra News Support, Biafra, Ada Biafra here. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, depending on where you're watching me from. Biafra, I bring you another news, another update of the happenings in Biafra land. Full and any repentant Boko Haram's in the vow that their people will not drink water and drop cup for them, but they are receiving water, water from Biafra Liberation Army. Biafra Liberation Army clashed with Nigerian Army that came to Southeast to kill innocent Biafrans. Go to Biafran Prime Minister's uh, page on Twitter and see how these people burnt our people's houses and lifeless body of our people they bombed. I don't know. I don't even understand why the flay fools in Southeast are not talking about these unnecessary killings and the attacks of Nigeria army on our people. Rather, they will be running kiti kiti katakata to stop sit at home. They don't want Hamadika to be released. They don't want uh, Biafrans to sit there, sit at home peacefully. They are doing everything within their power to see if they can stop sitting at home. You people have tried for two years now. It didn't work. You people should take all these energies you people are channeling on trying to stop sitting at home. And uh, stop the unnecessary and unprovoked killings of our people. Well, what am I even saying? Of course, you people are the ones inviting these, uh, these uh, soldiers into their front land. You people are telling them, telling Nigerian government to deploy soldiers uh, uh, to every corner of uh, Southeast to stop sitting at home. Now they are bombing our people for no reason because you people invited them. You people are in office not to protect your people but to sell them out because you people are benefiting from the killings of your own people. But Biafran Liberation Army, Biafran Liberation Army on ground are doing the needful. That thing full and irrepentant Boko Haram's and the army are looking for in Southeast will consume them, they will get it and Biafra land will swallow all of them. Biafra land will consume them because they have failed to allow our people or they have refused to allow our people to have rest. They are receiving water water. They will leave their, they leave their vehicle, abandon their vehicles and their motor tanks and run away. And the Biafra Liberation Army will do justice to those uh, vehicles and the tanks. They brought to Biafra land to kill our people. You people are fighting to nail to stop the seat at home. But you people will not do so in tackling the insecurity in Southeast. These people are coming to Southeast not to protect our people. But to kill our people. If we talk, people say, oh, should we, should, are we supposed to bring... What? Why won't we bring it? For the whole world to see what is going on. We want Biafra. If we are sitting at home, problem. Now, then let the governors or the politicians in South East do the needful. They'll be begging Nigerian government to give them more soldiers to kill their own people. You people say, oh, you people, you people are not supposed to be talking about this. Oh, you people are not supposed to be doing this. It's not us. These people came to our land to kill us. And the gallant men or volunteers or gallant men that have vowed that they will protect Biafra land no matter what. They are ready to sacrifice their own life to protect Biafra land. And country them. They are country them. They, they can't come to Biafra land and kill, and kill our people and just go back without anybody confronting them. Biafra Liberation Army is doing it. They, they are dealing with them. And they will keep dealing with them until they stop. Or until they are no more in South East or in Biafra land. Since the flavors we have in Biafra land will not do the needful, the gallant men are doing it. They are not ready to do the needful. Rather, they are begging for Tinubu to give them more and more soldiers to kill their own people. Hope Uzodema is busy burning our people's houses in Imo State. Governor of Enugu State is begging for more soldiers to stop sit at home. You find your boy is one side, ranting his own. Asari the Kubo boys is one side, helping the soldiers burn our people's houses and properties in Southeast. You people will not see those ones to talk about it. So here is it. It's very brief. It's very brief. But though I have seen the pictures, it's not allowed on YouTube here. They, they, they burn houses and they, 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 that's our people in Hamburg, they're all cool. It's not, uh, it's not allowed on YouTube here. You can go to Biafra Prime Minister's page. You can see those uh, pictures or videos, uh, pictures there. Or you go to Facebook, you will see the pictures of this incident. So Biafra Liberation Army clashed with Nigeria Army. They abandoned their vehicles and their tank and ran away. These are the ones that came with their tanks and the vehicles to clash, to kill our people. And when they met their fellow men carrying the same arm they are carrying, they abandoned their vehicles and their tanks and ran away. Of course, uh, Biafra Liberation Army did their justice to those vehicles, okay? Because uh, they came to Biafra land to kill our people with those vehicles and the tank. They ran away or they, they are going back without it. Let them go to the north. 
Let them go to the north that Fulani terrorists uh, hate Maine and uh, Fulani uh, terrorists uh, Boko Haram are ravaging. Let them go there. What are they looking for in Southeast? I don't even blame them. I blame the flefuls and that cause yourself evil politicians. You will see them whenever they are having meeting. It's not about tackling insecurity or putting a stop to the to the killings of their people, the unnecessary unprovoked killings of their people, or stop the marginalization of their own people. Rather, they will be make they will be discussing or they will uh, uh, do, have a meeting on how to kill their people more and more to please their full name masters. They will be begging for soldiers, more soldiers, two thousand soldiers, four hundred thousand, uh, four thousand soldiers, or four hundred soldiers to be deployed to southeast. When there is no Boko Haram, there is no Fulani terrorist headsmen. What are they coming there to do? To kill their own people because they are benefiting. Oh, I'm, I'm not ready to leave, my, to leave office. Once I, once I can do what they're asking me to do, why won't I do it? They are benefiting from their own people's uh, 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 killings. That is why they don't want to say anything. Rather, they want to stop sitting at home by all means. They are looking for Simon Eba, which they can never succeed. Simon Eba is not their problem. No, they have succeeded in kidnapping Mazen Namdekano, thinking that, oh, once we kidnap Namdekano, nobody will talk about BFR again. Nobody will ask for his release. Oh, we'll keep, uh, you know, playing deaf ears. Elohim, without knowing that Elohim preserves Simon Eba. Now, Simon Eba is, has become their own problem. They, they have started uh, placing bounty on his head. $50,000, $100,000, now $500,000, in thinking that they will succeed. They succeeded in kidnapping Mazen Namdekano, thinking nobody will talk about BFR again. They didn't know that Elohim project is unstoppable. There is nothing any man born of a woman can do to stop Elohim's project. Once he said, I am going to set these people free, no matter how hard it is. He always have a spare by the side because he knows that a lot of enemies will rise up. A lot of saboteurs, rebellions will come up. Rebellions that they don't want to be free. They prefer being enslaved. Rebellions that don't want, they, to, they don't want the freedom of others. They want others to remain enslaved with them. Which can never work. Which can never work. Elohim reserves Simon Eba, if you don't know. The betrayer, saboteurs that sold on Hamadike, never knew that somebody like Simon Eba will emerge. Now, Eastern governors, their problem now is in Simon Eba. They are not talking on how to release Mazen Nam the Kano. They are meeting all the time, it's not on how to release Mazen Nam the Kano or to secure Mazen Nam the Kano's unconditional release. It's a how to stop sit at home, how to stop Simon Eba. Look at how soldiers are burning our people's houses, bombing our people. They will not do anything about it. Rather, they, they are making, they are having a meeting to, to, to stop sit at home. We are telling you people, not, before you people say, we never told you people. Or before you people say, oh, you don't have to fight back. You don't. They are killing us. And the Biafran Liberation Army is doing the needful. Simon Eber, like Simon Eber said, it's an, it's an eye for an eye this time around. Hmm? Before Biafraland will consume you people, both those that sent you people to Biafraland. And I'm sure it's among the 400 soldiers, or should I say 2,000 soldiers, you people, or the FLA fools that cause yourself Eastern politicians, beg Nigerian government or beg Tinubu's government to give them to stop a uh, seat at home. Hmm? They clash with Biafra and Liberation Army, and Biafra and Liberation Army gave them what they They abandoned their vehicles and their, their tank and ran away. And those uh, vehicles, the vehicles and the uh, tanks were set ablaze. Okay? Nobody should say, oh, you're not supposed to be. Saying. We have to let them know that Biafra land, they can no longer come to Biafra land and do as they please and go scot free. Burn our people, we're a bomb our people, burn down our people's houses and go scot free. They are main on ground. There are men to put a stop to that madness that have been going on. That those that cause yourself leaders have been unable to tackle. We are humans. There is a lot of insecurity in, South, in the north. The terrorists are operating there freely. Nobody is going after them. What are the soldiers doing in southeast? What are they doing in southeast? These are not soldiers. These are repentant Boko Haram. They retrograded into the army and, and deployed them to southeast. They can't stand their fellow men. Is the innocent people or armed Igbos or armed beer friends? They will come and kill on armed beer friends when they see their fellow men, um, fellow men carrying the same arm they are carrying, they will be running away. Let them face them. Let them face their fellow men and leave beer friends or armed beer friends in Southeast alone. 
they are running away abandoning their tanks and their their vehicles this is just the beginning they haven't seen anything the more they deploy you people to south east the more you people die in south east the more you people the more biafra land consume you people it's not about you people lining up coming to biafra land you people should go to the north go to sabisa forest and face uh, Boko Haram and leave or arm via France alone in Southeast. It's not that the whole world, no, they are not seeing all these, uh, all these things going on. They are just keeping or uh, playing deaf ears, turning blind eyes. Because enough, enough will soon be enough. At that time, you will see them coming for peace talk. Now, peace talk, let them try it. That peace talk will consume them. Look at Nigerian soldiers lined up. You, if you see them, the way they are dressed, wearing helmet and everything, you think they're going to fight terrorists in the north. They are coming to South East, where there is no terrorist, where there is no war going on. They are lining up to go and kill innocent on armed beer friends in South East. That is what they are going to do. The worst part is that Igbo politicians will be begging Nigerian government to give them more soldiers. Know you fully well that these are not soldiers. These are repentant to Boko Haram's. Reintegrated into the army. And they are reintegrated in the army not to protect the people. They want to use them to, to kill more people in South East, more beer friends in South East. And they are begging the Nigerian government to give them more soldiers. Know you fully what these people are not soldiers. You will see people burning your, bombing your own people's houses, burning, burning your people or bombing them in their own houses. And you'll be begging the Nigerian government to give you more of the same people. Burning down houses, properties of your own people and miss of livelihood. They have not accepted. The, why is Nigerian government reintegrating Boko Haram into the army? Calling them repentant Boko Haram. People that have born, killed mothers and children. They will be retrograting them into the army, and you people are begging them to give you more of them. Well, their fellow men are placing them or giving them what they want, and they are running away, abandoning, abandoning the vehicle and the armor tank they gave them to come and kill innocent and unarmed beer friends in Southeast. They don't have what it takes to stand to face their fellow men. Is innocent and unarmed beer friends in Southeast. This is just the beginning. They haven't seen anything. So that is it, my people. I will stop here. The friendly Liberation Army gave Nigeria army that came to kill beer friends in South East Wotowoto and they abandoned their vehicles and their tank and ran away. And those tank and the, and the vehicle were set ablaze.